We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the signs. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer. Kidnap me, take me back all the way back. y'all it is a new day a new vlog it is Saturday and <coughs> this vlog is a little different well I don't know it's a little different but it, it's um different in the sense that we are all sick and it's been a rough week so uh, what was it I was starting to feel sick a week ago so last Saturday I started to feel sick I remember I napped two days that Saturday which is like eight or two days I napped two times that Saturday and I don't usually nap and I just felt like oh Remy are you kidding me are you kidding me right now I'm knocking over my tripod anyway so I was just very lethargic that day it's not for good what are we gonna do with that Kate cat what are we gonna do with him I was very lethargic that day, and then a Sunday I started to feel worse where I thought like I had a sinus infection, um, <coughs> and then on Monday was Martin Luther King Day, so I didn't have work, thank goodness. Um, Tuesday I decided to stay home, I'm going to take a sip of this, anyway, Tuesday I was going to stay home because I didn't feel well, and as the morning progressed, I was like... <sighs> I've had so many science fictions in the past, I get them all the time, but this felt a little bit worse and just a little more like, like I hit by a bus kind of feeling. And I have had science fictions where I felt that though, to be honest. But then um, I took a test and I tested positive for you know what. So that stunk. Uh, so then I let my school know and, and I was home all week. How we've been doing, okay, so basically the last week was hard, really, really hard. Um, there was two days where I felt absolutely terrible where I just laid on the couch with Rosemary. So I just laid on the couch with her um, literally all day. I was so achy and just exhausted. I felt horrible um, for those two days. One was probably like the really bad day and then like the other one was pretty bad too. Uh, before that, I was achy and tired, but it was more like a science fiction. And then those were her worst days, too. Um, she was just really tired and grumpy and fussy and whiny. But she's super stuffy. So today, after I finish my coffee, I think I'm going to um, do a nasal rinse. Not a nasal rinse, like a saline rinse. And then do the Mum Frida. Like, you try to, like, suck out the goop. So... She's gonna scream, I know. She's not gonna like it. <laughs> You're smiling, you'll know what's to come. But it's for the best. Uh, Tony is also sick. He, I feel like, is kind of like a little behind me because when I was super, super sick, he was, he didn't, like, he was sick, but he, he felt pretty good. And that was kind of nice because he was able to take care of us. Um, but now, he's starting to feel pretty bad. So, yeah. We have been just a sick, nasty family, haven't we? If you follow me on Instagram, I have been talking to everyone on Instagram about this. Um, so you already knew this, but if not, I just want to update you on that. And that you can probably hear my voice, I'm sick. But also, we're probably not going to be doing anything too crazy in this vlog because we're still recovering here. But by the time you guys are watching this video, I would hope that we are fully recovered. I mean... Um, I film a good week ahead, week and a half ahead, so in a week and a half, yeah, I would hope I am better. I am going back to work on Monday, um, so we'll see. Well, it's going to be an exhausting day, but... Okay, update about Rosemary. Did you not want that toy? Update about Rosemary. I said in the last vlog that her head control 
was getting so much better. So I actually scored this activity center on Facebook Market. And she just loves it. And I never find anything good on Facebook Marketplace, but I got this one. It's the Skip Hop. I saw it in a lot of people's vlogs of like their favorite things for ages three to six. So she has a new little activity center. Here you go, you dropped this. Whoa! <laughs> So this is the snot sucker thing I was talking about. It's from Frida Baby. And then, where's the saline, honey? Saline her first. We use this little, oh, oh, you want a vlog? <laughs> we use this little remedies one. So Tony's gonna, she's moving the camera all over. Tony's going to do the saline and then I'm gonna go in with the fun job of sucking it all out. <laughs> you grabbing at the camera. You ready for this? I apologize in advance. You're not gonna like it. Mwah, no. Look at you holding it. <laughs> See, that wasn't too bad. I cried though. We'll flip it around. We'll flip it around. See, I cried though, but it's okay. It's okay. But now you feel better, you can breathe. Yeah, you can breathe. That's good. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. Oh, smiles. Well, let's show them your Jolly Jumper. We put together the Jolly Jumper and don't be fooled, all of the Christmas decorations that were here in the last vlog, they are packed away, but they're just moved into our bedroom. We have yet to take them down to the storage unit. And I wanted to last weekend, but then we got sick. So, and I don't know if we have enough energy this weekend, but the Jolly Jumper is now here in her nursery. Her bassinet, I moved into the nursery too, and I put a bunch of stuffed animals um, in there just kind of like trying to use it for something now that she's not using it so we also got a humidifier for the nursery with her being sick uh, we just picked up at a local hardware store and I think I'm gonna actually it's there now because I wanted it kind of close to her but I think take it around I think I'm gonna put it back here and set it on this cute little stool my grandfather made this stool and I used it as a little kid, but I think that'd be a good spot for the humidifier. Also, now that I'm in here talking, um, let me show you guys some of the other stuff on her little toy shelf. So we moved the hatch in here from when she switched um, from our bedroom into the nursery. We have the hatch and the egg lamp in here now. And then I added some things um, that my grandfather actually made so he made these little animals these wooden animals and then that bunny back there he made and then this dinosaur he also made these shelves have stayed pretty much the same uh, my grandfather also made this little top as well but yeah they are no change there I don't believe and then that's really it let's clean this stuff up oh we've been taking her temperature she has not had a fever, so that's been awesome. I'm currently in her bathroom. Um, you see her little tub hanging up there, but it reminded me, I want to also tell you guys, that bath time has been so fun with her lately. Um, she used to like not be a fan, and then I was showering with her for a while, and that really helped, um, but then she also wasn't a fan of that. So I went back to taking, or giving her a bath, um, and we've been using toys, and I'll show you the toys that we have, but she now loves it, and it's so fun because I just, like, threw a bunch of the little letters and stuff in there, and she just plays with them, and it's finally, like, a positive experience giving her bath, so that's been a lot of fun. It makes it way more enjoyable than before when she used to just, like, scream and hated it. So here's our little bath set. This is the bathtub. I don't know if I can spin it around. I'm going to have to show you from this side but um this is what it looks like and then it had a sling from when she was a newborn we just took that out so she upgraded to like the 
level two so she just kind of rests here and then like her little bottom like sits here her head goes there it says it there fisher price okay so i have to give her a bath tonight anyway so i'm just gonna put that in there so then we have that in there we got this skip hop little thing for our knees, which you would think is not necessary, but it's actually really, really nice uh, on your knees. And it has like a pad there too for your arms and a little pocket that you can keep stuff. Um, and then in here is the toys I was talking about. So we got these, I think they're munchkin, these letters that just float in the water. And she loves to grab them because they're so easy and light for her to grab um, and then she is not really into this quite yet but we have like a book and then that book came with wherever they are little like uh, water animals that are completely open so you're not gonna get gunk in there the last thing we use is this ducky I got it on Amazon and it tells you uh, if the temperature is the right temperature it'll like alarm if it's too hot because there's a little like a thermostat or whatever but that's really helpful. I've had enough energy to actually put some curls into my hair, um, <clears throat> which is the most I've done with my hair in a very long time <laughs> because I've just been too sick to care. But Rosemary is sleeping now. Tony is watching her in the other room while he's sweating laundry. And I came into the office to show you what I've been like spending my time on. There was like two days of being sick where Rosemary would just need to like nap on me um and literally all we did was lay on the couch and like watch disney movies and stuff so those two days were a complete wash but other than that like i have been sick enough where i couldn't do a lot around the house and as you guys know i don't sit very well um so i to say that i like sat all day those two days like that's saying a lot because i had no motivation to do anything i felt so sick but the other time, um, you know, I felt sick and there was ups and downs, but I like needed things to do, I guess is what I'm saying, where I wasn't like exerting a lot of energy, I wasn't doing a lot of big projects or anything like that. So <clears throat> let me share with you um, my latest crochet project. And then I also have a few new books that I'm excited to start reading. I think the last thing I showed you guys was the like gray squares pause that project just because I get bored so I was working on these I still am but what I've moved on to is this sweet little sweater for rosemary I got the pattern from Etsy so this is what it's looking like so far I think it'd be sweet for Easter too and it has these like little poof sleeves so this sleeve is done the whole body's done I'm working on this sleeve and then there's stuff that goes down here and then the um, neck. Also, I got two books from the library. I do have a Kindle and I read a lot on my Kindle, but there's just nothing better than like holding an actual book. So I still love hard copy books um, when I can get them. Sometimes the wait at the library is just so long and I've stopped trying to buy books. Like I used to just go to the bookstore and buy the book and then donate it, but it just seems like a waste of money. I only buy books now that like I know I'm going to read again. Like they're really, really good. But this one I got from the library. It's the Hating Game. Um, I wanted just a fun, simple, easy read that I can fly through. And then this one is The Invisible Life of Addie Lowry. Lowry? I don't know, but people love this book. So... Uh, it's V.E. Schwab. I have read a few of her other books as well. This one I started last night, but I wasn't feeling well, and then I ended up falling asleep. <laughs> so that didn't go very well. Um, so I think I'm either going to read right now or crochet. I think I'm actually in the mood to read. I'm going to sit down and read, yeah, while she naps. But she's actually probably, honestly, going to wake up soon. She's been napping really, really short naps. Yeah, she's been napping 31 minutes already, so I don't expect her to nap too much longer. Tony's doing all the baby laundry right now. There's Mary's waking up and Dixie's snoozing. Aren't you sweetie pies? Hi.
It's like 12.30 and I am exhausted. <laughs> Yesterday I feel like I had way more energy than today, but I don't know. I decided we're just going to chill, watch Monsters, Inc. and lay here and rest because I'm starting to feel achy and crappy again. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and um, yesterday, you're getting slobber all over me. Yesterday we played board games and then went to bed. We did not feel very good at all. But I have enjoyed spending so, all this time with Rosemary, um, even though we did not feel well. So she was super congested this morning. And we did like the saline and all that again. No temperature, just a little stuffy. So now, um, Tony is making us some smoothies, which you'll be able to use, eat soon. I think we're gonna ask the doctor at your four month checkup. It should have been already. You're four months now. Uh oh. Um, yeah, you're four months old. Can you believe it? How fun we can start with some sweet potato. Ooh, what are you gonna think about sweet potato, huh? Uh, it's gonna be yummy. So after we eat some breakfast, I think we're gonna put her after her nap on her little jelly jumper to get some exercise. You're looking at Dixie. That's all you're doing. Looking at Dixie, girl. You daydream. No, not that face. Take me back all the way back to the day. Rosemary, what are we going to do the rest of the day? We're going to cuddle. We're going to cuddle and rest. So mommy feels better. Daddy feels better. Dixie, you feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little update because I thought I was going to end the vlog there. I thought everything was going to be um, fine. I was going to go to work the next day and it was going to be hard, but I still figured like I would do it. And I wanted to hop on and just kind of wrap it up with what happened. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've been following um, how we've been feeling, but it went... I don't want to say downhill like it almost went backwards like I feel like we started to feel a little better and then it just went backwards and we felt terrible I especially felt really bad so I didn't make it to work on Monday I didn't make it to work the entire week which is horrible I hate that I hate that for my students and you know just everything like it stinks but you have to take care of yourself in your house I didn't want to push it and then one like you know expose others but also make it even go backwards even more, make myself even more sick. Um, that's not good for anybody. I'm a mom now, so like I have to think about that. I have to be healthy for Rosemary. Unfortunately, I think maybe that is why it hit me a little bit hard. Um, well, a few reasons. It does hit everyone differently, but I did just give birth four months ago. And not only that, I was up with her a lot when she was not feeling well. I wasn't sleeping because I was taking care of her when she was just not the best. She's perfectly fine now, like a little congested, but that's it. Um, <laughs> but I think just those nights, like taking care of her and she was my priority, it kind of made me like backtrack a little because I wasn't really sleeping or anything. But you know, then also just having given birth four months ago, my body's immune system still building. So I missed all of work this week. Um, just was not feeling good at all. Tony and I went to the doctor just to get checked out because I felt like it was getting a little better, but I have a few lingering symptoms. And so we went and got checked out. My lungs are great. There's just a lot of inflammation and irritation. And so um, they prescribed us both uh, a steroid and we'll be on that for the next few days. They did say that the prescription will help, but like it might linger for quite a bit, um, but it'll be enough then where I can like perform my work and teach and everything. So, um, well, that's the plan. Um, so I'm going to be back Monday, the 31st, and I haven't been... I haven't taught, oh my gosh, like, I started having symptoms on the 15th, I think. The other thing I wanted to, like, vent about just for, like, a hot second, and I actually, I don't know if you guys watch 
her, but Clancy Burke, she is a news reporter and she also came down with COVID. She went back after the five days. So the CDC like lowered it to five days, right? She went back, still had symptoms, then talked about on her blog that she regretted it, that she felt really sick, that she doesn't think it should be five days. And that's what I want to talk about is like, I, I don't think it should be five days. I mean, maybe I can see one exception. If you don't test positive, if you are maybe exposed to it, but never had symptoms, like, is it still five then? I don't know. I don't even know if it's five then. But regardless, like, I was not ready to go back at five. I still had really bad symptoms day five, day six, day, like, the, you know, all through 10 and more days. Um, and my doctor was explaining it where she said, yes, I know it says if your symptoms are improving, but really, if you have any major symptoms, it needs to extend to 10 days. And when I talked about it to people on Instagram, who a lot of them are teachers, because they followed me when I was posting all teaching content, they, a lot of them said their school made them come back after five days, no matter how they were feeling. And some of them were really bad and they were forced to come back because they're so short staffed. I have no words for that. I just have no words for that. I don't get how that solves anything. Like if that person gets super sick then, or if that person gets other people sick, aren't you going to be out more people even longer? It just doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't you want to treat your, your employees really good so that they can stay and they are healthy? Everyone has a sub shortage right now. You know what I mean? Like everyone. But um, that's just not what you want to do. You have to take care of your body. And I think the Michelle before having a baby would have done that. I would have just sucked it up and went to work. But now with Rosemary, who just woke up, <laughs> now with Rosemary, I need to be, you know, healthy and feeling good in order to be there for her. So it's just even more important that I take care of my body. All right, she just woke up, so I'm gonna go. But I did wanna give you guys that update about how it did not turn out as planned. <laughs> but we were on the up, um, up and up now, hopefully because we were prescribed a medicine and hopefully everything will work out now and we'll start to feel better. Um, I'm already starting to feel a little better. So that's a good thing. Thank you again for watching and thanks for all your sweet words on Instagram and all your comments and everything about my family getting better. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day.